Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brad, and my hands is the MDLX Bumblebee figure from 3.0. 3 is kind of doing like, uh, I don't want to say quite as higher end uh, Transformers figures, but I would call them in the medium range line of figures. So far, we've done Optimus, and Bumblebee came out before Optimus. Um, there's some interesting upcoming ones. We got Megatron, Nemesis Prime. Uh, Rodimus and Starscream, I believe all of them are uh, so far out for pre-order. I'm intrigued. I will admit I was not the most impressed with the Optimus figure, but generally I liked it. Uh, so we go. We'll keep on, uh, keep on going and see what the Bumblebee is like. The the Bumblebee looks really kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, let's let's check it out. I mean, the first thing that stands out to me is that it's about right for size. It is definitely smaller than the Optimus figure. Uh, and appropriately so. The box is small. It's not like they're giving you some giant oversized box like uh, you might expect them to. So let's uh, look at the figure itself. You know, we did the stand. It was no problem at all. Let's do our normal movement with feet. Let's see here. We get a little bit up and down, some twist, side to side. So I got knee, bend there, hip, lots of movement. Arms up. Yeah, for the most part, you can get up pretty well. You see arm movement there. Elbow looks is kind of like a double joint. I don't think you can quite. Well, yeah, you can get the maybe the hand touching the the nose. We'll do the nose test. I kind of like doing my nose tests. Uh, head, lots of movement there. And then waist, there is some up and down, and definitely some pivots. So um, lots of movement. Uh, that is not an issue with this line of figures, though the, the waist is very tight on this one. Um, all right, so, oh yeah, upper arm pivots as well. No real need of that on the legs, but you can if you want. Um, let's see here, details of the figure. It's it's nice, the details. I, I do like this take on Bubble Bee. Give me a second to like really look at it. Um, I love the feet. The, the feet are so nice coming off the, the VW Bug, uh, old school. Um, the paint for the yellow isn't quite yellow. It does feel like it's worn a little bit, so it's not, you know, bright, perfect yellow, which is, I think, really smart and really cool. You know, it does look a little worn with the metal that shows the robotic parts. Um, so overall, I think design is, is pretty cool uh, when it comes to that. Let's see what the accessories we've got. we got a couple hands. There's uh, two different sets of hands. Let's see what we got. We'll start off with closed hand, but let's switch it out. Let's see how easy it is to do that. We have a blaster. Nice laser going with there, and then alternative head. Let's see how, how well we can show the alt head off. There we go. Um, an alt head that you can go put on as well, which, you know, again, like the rest, has a slight worn vibe to it. Um, and looks looks pretty cool. It's a nice different version, but I'm um, kind of an old school uh, Bumblebee figure. I think like the Optimus, you know, it's it's not a bad figure. Um, I like this a bit more than the Optimus. I think the, the Optimus had a very odd-looking face. Uh, Bumblebee's doesn't have, I think, suffer from that and is a little bit better in that department. Um, like the Optimus, it's a lot of movement, a lot of uh, articulation, some really smart moves, like on the waist, bending, allowing the, uh, the hip stuff to kind of bend out a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, just overall, solid, solid stuff, and it's it's good. I mean, I think for the price, uh, price point, it's a pretty solid figure, um, kind of the higher end of the, like, regular Transformers line. I, I think this was, like, about 65, if I remember correctly. Um, so, yeah, it's it's nice. Like, I, I like it more than the Optimus. Let's go with that. It's, it's um, there's a lot of the issues I have with the Optimus I'm not seeing here, and... Yeah, uh, overall, not not a bad figure, pretty cool line. So we'll keep on going. We'll get some more figures 
from it and uh, and see how it all goes. You can get yours. We've got a link beneath this video where you can purchase your own. They'll most likely be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site uh, and just watch our video support us. So thank you for that. If you are into toys, if you're into Transformers, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, TikTok, and uh, Mastodon, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep playing with your toys and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.